If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Okay, guys, so uh, today we have a new evolution that is looking pretty saucy. Uh, we just finished the Maldini review. I played a lot of extra games with him because... Uh, for defenders, especially in his case, he doesn't have the play style. So I had to do like extra tests on the shadow initially. And then I did like way more tests on the anchor. So yeah, had to play more games for that to kind of give the uh, proper review for people on that one. But um, yeah, guys, today uh, we have a new evolution. And this evolution is really crazy, really, really crazy. This actually might be a really long video because there is a lot of evolutions that you can work with, right? So right off the bat if we go to evolutions and we check out some of the options that you do have to work with it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty saucy like it's gonna be very very saucy so this is an evolution where you get two different variations of finisher it is a paid evolution but i'm gonna tell you guys this right now you get some pretty saucy upgrades from this one specifically okay so you can obviously see that rodrigo is the main guy up front for people that you know, obviously have his rare gold version and then they want to upgrade it with 100k. And it kind of puts them very similar to uh, the SBC version that released earlier in the year, right? But we can see the upgrades, right? A couple of decent ones here and there. Uh, the second one gets a plus one in the weak foot department, which is obviously a really big deal. So let's say, for instance, your player already has a four star, four star by default. A five star weak foot is obviously a very welcome inclusion on the card, right? Um, oops, excuse me back to the evolution um and then we have the last one where they actually give you trivella plus so this is a really really crazy evolution especially for the way that this game plays out okay trivella plus is a very very big play style to work with too okay so let's take a look at some of the options you have to work with guys i'm gonna say some of the options but when i tell you that there are a lot of options like there's a lot of options okay so Let's take a look at the ones that you could potentially get. We'll go ahead and just search up the popular versions of this because there's going to be a whole lot of options. Like there's going to be uh, so many, so many, so many different options. OK, so let's go to the popular page here. Let's see what we are going to be working with. So, guys, this list is going to it's honestly going to be endless. There's going to be so many different options. There's not going to be just one obvious choice. It's insane. OK, so the first one here is obviously Malin. You know, people hype this card up a lot because obviously R9, right? They're like, this is my R9 in my team. Take a look at Malin nowadays, right? So now he turns into a five star, five star player with very good dribbling stats, right? This actually could it could be the reincarnation of R9. It actually really could be. Uh, obviously, he's not going to be as good as him in game. Let's be honest. They do certain things like the body types and all that kind of stuff. But they gave him very good stuff, right? Trivella plus technical flair, first touch, trickster, quick step, Trivella, power shot. Like this is it's looking really, really nice. Uh, and this is like a physical oriented player in a way, too, because, you know, with the way that he's formatted by default, he is someone who is five foot ten with a unique body type. But Malin's usually had that body type that is like very similar to Ronaldo. That's why people usually like compare him to him, because body type wise, they kind of look similar in game, right? But yeah, Malin is definitely looking like a pretty saucy option to go with, especially if you did the FC Founder 2 into FC Founders upgrade and then into Finisher, which I think all of these currently still exist, right? So if you wanted to get these improvements on the card, it's really, really nuts. Like you could do this right now if you get the rare gold version. The only thing is obviously linking him to Bundesliga players. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really often see people use Bundesliga that much, especially in the higher divisions. But, you know, some people might actually do so, right? The next one is Rodrigo's card. So Rodrigo obviously uh, received some pretty good play styles, right? Trivella Plus is a really huge one. He's got dead ball, technical and flair to work with. In comparison to the SBC version that came out um, not too long ago, guys, you are getting a significantly cheaper version of Rodrigo that's not at 400k I even told you guys during that time period that they're pricing SPCs like crazy right but this card is someone that you can essentially buy for 100k this card's got to be extinct there's no chance of course um this is a card that you are improving in ways that you honestly cannot imagine like there is massive improvements with him um first of all five star weak foot 
already a huge variable to work with but the fact that he is now a person that has trivella plus to work with too is a huge variable right in regards to the sbc version he got first touch plus i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's a cool thing to have especially if you do like driven passes but it's not like the end all of everything to not have considering that was the sbc version right so it kind of goes to show you what the way that they price the sbcs this year right but this card obviously formatted very nicely for either direction that you go right so if you went in the direction of giving him a hawk chemistry style having the lower shot power could be a very nice variable to work with considering the fact that he has trivella plus to work with right so hawk chemistry style boosting physical shooting and pace might be a more ideal situation for a lot of people and then for some people that don't really care as much and want the pace improvement but still have a lower shot power then you could do that as well by giving him the hunter but you know in the future maybe they do another evolution where you can further improve this rodrigo card and he would be kind of saucy on that hawk because base card stats would be improved in multiple areas of it right you have to remember that rodrigo is someone who is five foot nine but also has a lean body type and the only reason why i remember that's because i've used him so much this year from these versions here but yeah rodrigo definitely looking like a very op good option by the way guys if you guys get any of these cards on pc and you want to let me do a review you guys can just send me a message on instagram and um and we could take a look at some of the cards that people might be interested in, right? Take a look at this guy, right? Leicester City player that can currently still get upgraded, right? Uh, there's actually a few Leicester City players that you could potentially go with if you have been doing their evolutions, like if you've been keeping up. Um, so not bad, right? He obviously gets some very significant stats uh, increase in the card. You can either go the direction of giving him a marksman because this card does have an average body type. So for some people that actually could be annoying regardless of the agility and balance being at a 99 but this card on a hunter chemistry style uh hunter 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 chemistry style boosting the pace as well as the shooting is gonna make him more than a usable card right it actually looks very very meta uh five star weak foot left footed player so the fact that he's left footed is obviously a huge variable to work with because it's not easy to come across like super meta players that are left footed or at least have a five star weak foot to be used in the left sided areas because a lot of times you will take strikes across goal. Um, so it's really nice, you know, to get a card like this that also gets the Trivella plus while being left footed that essentially has, you know, perfect shooting, right? So as a Leicester City player, definitely has some very, very W links, um, especially for people that do have the silver card that is going to also be extinct on the markets, right? So yeah, definitely looks really sick there as well. Pretty solid option. Uh, Pedro Neto is the other option to work with here. So obviously, if you did all of these ones like Dribbling Sensation into Midfield Dynasty, into FC Founder 2, into FC Founder Upgrade, into Finisher, uh, you get a pretty crazy version of Pedro Neto, right? So this card definitely looks like a very solid player. Gonna be honest with you guys, I've actually used Pedro Neto as a striker from the review before, and he was really saucy to work with. On this card, it's no different, right? You can actually give him a Hawk chemistry style this time, and he would be very, very well formatted, right? Pace is in a fantastic area. Shooting's in a fantastic area. Physical's in a decent area. No, but stamina's on the lower side, but dribbling also massively improved on the card really good play styles too you know this card has trivella rapid quick step press proven whipped pass power shot a lot of really really crazy stuff to work with right so obviously if you want to want it to go down this route as well definitely a very solid option if you have been improving him right so if we hide the expired versions of pedro neto um i don't think there's anything you can do with him right now no you can't because a lot of them have been expired so you would have to have done some of the cards earlier to put them in some of the cards afterwards. So there is a ton of options to work with when it comes to Pedro Neto. So if you guys did improve him, especially from that one that we actually reviewed uh, in the beginning of the year, he's going to be uh, a really, really cool option to work with 100%. So yeah, definitely a W pick there as well. Has the weak foot, strong foot should be very nice. Bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Uh, Alvarez is the next card here, another evolution version of Alvarez. I'm very curious to see how this card would perform because on his SBC card and afterwards, they were kind of weird cards to use. Like I've, I've even used an evolution version of Alvarez. It might be on this like Centurion Striker where I still felt like his dribbling was a little bit strange. But now, you know, he's obviously received some pretty significant upgrades on the card. 
uh, with the Hunter chemistry style, uh, you get some really, really massive improvements in the card, right? Your pace is massively improved. Shooting is going to be in the perfect area, but it's the dribbling base card stats that I'm looking at the most, right? Very, very uh, good stuff there. He's got five star weak, but tree Vela plus flare press proven rapid. Um, and he's a high, high work rate of cards. So you could technically use him as one of two strikers, or if you want to use him in the side positions, you could too. Like if you're playing a 4 2 3 1 and you use him as your right attacking mid, that could also be a very solid option to go with, right? Um, next up we have is Kirby. Kirby definitely looking really solid as well. Uh, definitely looking very nice, especially for the Chelsea fans, right? If you have this version of the card, I'm pretty positive that people didn't really put her into anything, right? So for the Chelsea fans that do have this version of Kirby and they're putting her into finisher, she's looking pretty saucy because by default, the female players are crazy. They're basically pro clubs characters. In her case, she's a five foot two player. So her dribbling is not going to be of concern to you, right? But with this card in game on a Hawk or Hunter chemistry style, the sauciness is just all over the place, right? Trivella plus, she's got finesse shot, technical, flair, Trivella, like, I always say Trivella twice. I don't know why I say Trivella twice. I don't even know why that's there twice. It's like, oh, this is like double Trivellas. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if we go like back from this list, I can literally go all the way here to the bottom. Like, it doesn't stop. This is like one of those evolutions that does not stop. There's going to be so many different options to work with, especially if you went down the route of sentimental value. Like there's going to be a lot of cards to get, right? Uh, the next one here is going to be Talishka's card, right? So Talishka from the inform version of it, right? Into finisher afterwards, he's looking pretty saucy as well, because some people, when they did the evolutions version of Talishka before, if we were doing these versions here, they probably went to a point where like, oh, they have like a power shooter on him, right? But now that this version exists from the inform version of Talishka, which is probably going to be extinct on the market too, of course, this is an Al Nasser card that looks really nice, right? On the evolution version for finisher, he gets the five star weak foot. And Talishka is an interesting card in game, right? Because you look at his dribbling, but what's interesting about him is that he has a very unique body type, right? He has a high and lean body type, which to be honest with you guys, when I used him in game from just the previous version, I didn't really mind that too much on the card, right? So it's still a really, really, really well formatted card for the most part. I mean, you could go in the direction of giving him a Hawk if you really want to, or you can go in the direction of also giving him a Hunter chemistry style because, you know, pace in a lot of situations can be very relevant in this game. And you have to remember that he has very unique work rates too on the medium low, right? So Hunter chemistry style boosting the pace to be as high as possible while also giving him an increase in shooting while also important information to mention, giving him a massive increase in the volleys department is also a very nice variable to work with too. So. Talishka is definitely looking like a pretty solid card to choose as well. Uh, popular choices here. Uh, we have Kingsley Coman. Significant improvements as well from the inform version. So uh, for me, I actually packed this, Col uh, packed this Coleman card as a, um, as a fodder card for the Team of the Weeks, right? And you always have to be very careful of those bad boys. But yeah, you know, if you're going in the direction of Bundesliga, it gives you some really good links to work with. French... Bayern Munich, right? Um, with this card in game, he's looking pretty nice as well. You know, Coman is never really the type of player that I personally enjoy. Obviously, for this year's game, it's a little bit different in regards to how the mechanics work. So I could actually enjoy him a little bit more this year, but um, no promises there. I've, I've never really uh, used him too much this year. And, and again, in previous years, like he's gotten like team of the season and stuff, and I've never really was too crazy about him but obviously with evolutions they had a lot of variables to this cards these cards nowadays because they have uh, a bunch of stuff right quick step first touch flare rapid trivella acrobatic it's it's uh it's really nice you know a lot of really 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 nice stuff that um makes the cards interesting for the most part right um let's see philippe anderson looking pretty nice so this is from the centurion see this is what i'm saying right like these cards that nobody cares about they get improvements, bro. So if there's like a Portuguese guy that doesn't look that meta, you gotta get him just so that he can get meta in the future. <laughs> it's interesting how this works, though, man. It really is. Especially if you get like the first owners. It's like cool to have the evolutions of these cards, right? But Philippe Anderson, you know, this is a former FC Porto player. 
to be fair to him, didn't really do too much for us, but, a, you know, still an FC Porto player regardless, right? In his case, uh, he would be really cool, probably on like a marksman to improve the dribbling a little bit further. You know, I'm a freak for dribbling. You guys know how I am. But for the most part, it is formatted for a hawk, right? I mean, the, the dribbling is in the mid 90s area for a lot of the important stuff, right? Pace massively increased, shooting massively increased, physical in a good area. A card that you pretty much use in the side positions. He's a right footed player, tree villa plus. You got finesse shot, rapid. You could technically use him on the left hand side if you want to as well. But um, yeah, very, very solid option to work with too. Uh, all of these cards, they're extinct because all of these cards are good. These are all cards that people will use in the meta of the gameplay because they all look very, very nice, period, okay? They just look really solid. Um, Kavada Telia gets a new card as well. This is interesting because he gets the upgrade from the rare gold version considering that the radioactive version exists and the radioactive version is a difference of is a difference of this so the evolutions is definitely better yeah definitely a better card do i see a lot of people choosing cavartatelia probably not unless you're going for like the sentimental value on napoli and stuff i'm saying sentimental but this card's five star five star like let's be real right now you know what i'm saying if you were to go down this road this card would still cook for you you know what i mean it would still cook for you um how would i format this card i mean would i give him an engine i mean maybe i'd maybe give him an engine uh, because the dribbling's on the lower side, but I feel like with Kavada Telia, you probably just use his dribbling for what it is, you know? And you just give him a Hunter Chemistry style because it kind of feels pointless to not give him those things. You know what I mean? Lower shot power as well, so on a Trivella, my man can pop them, you know? Five-star weak foot as well. Um, he has a lot of really good play styles, to be fair. Regular Trickster, Trivella, Flair, Technical, Whipped Pass, Incisive Pass, Finesse Shot. Like, he's got a lot of crazy stuff. So, I'm saying these things, but like, my dude, you know, 5-star, five 5-star five looking crazy. Went up, oh, went down 2.1k because people are probably choosing some other options, obviously. That's why I say it's mostly like sentimental, but like, I'm saying sentimental, but for cards that are still pretty meta, you know? Um, but yeah. What else we got here? Rafinha from what? Rare Gold? There's also the Winter Wild card version, too. How much does this card cost? It's probably like a fair amount in the market. 300k, yeah. 300k, and then it's a card that you can further improve, too, which is a W, to be fair. Um, A little bit strangely formatted. I mean, you could technically give this card a finisher, actually. It wouldn't be terrible. Good dribbling boost. He's a high, high work rate of player. Pace is in a decent area. You give him a nice little shooting boost as well. Trivella. Play styles wise, you got Power Shot, Rapid Flare, Trickster, Quick Step, Relentless. Yeah, maybe like a Hawk too. Depends. Depends what you're going for, really. You know? What's his body type normally? Yo, Footbin, you guys gotta put like the body types on the evolutions. It's very important, my friends, okay? Um, Foden gets a card too. Look at that. From the Inform version, you can improve Phil Foden. And he's a four star, four star. Yo, that's actually kind of nice though. Do you guys remember? The SBC card that came out when it was a showdown, before the showdown, and then after the showdown. It's kind of like that. It's formatted in that way, right? So higher acceleration, lower sprint speed. But remember that this card does have the cam position change, right? And you could technically use them in the left-sided area. You just got to be mindful of the uh, sprint speed being on the lower, lower side, right? But, I mean, listen. Let's take a look at this card, right? Phil Foden has mid-90s for dribbling in the important areas. Hunter Chemistry Sal increases pace drastically, shooting drastically to put it in a very good area. Trivella Plus as well. Four star, four star for this time. So he's not a four star, three star player anymore. It looks like a nice card. You know, for Man City fans especially, like this is going to be a really, really solid option to work with because by default, it's going to be better than this card, who's 128k, right? So 100k as, you know, an evolution is definitely looking really cool. Very, very solid option there. Um, Pedro Neto again is trending just because it's like some different versions of him, basically, right? Uh, Kubo as well. This is from the player of the month version, right? So if you did the player of the month SPC, there's value being transferred over to a new card that now turns into an 88 rated, right? So this is the thing with evolutions. You never know which direction they're going to go with it. You know, when you go sentimental for cards that are still meta, like Pedro Neto had really good base meta stuff, right? So Pedro Neto 
is going to be really solid to work with. So it's always important to do that. Like, obviously, you can get like certain bronze cards, silver cards that like don't look that crazy. And then they could be like really nice in the future. But I'm telling you guys, EA does certain base mechanic stuff with certain cards initially. So it's really important to look at this stuff when transferring over to a more, you know, meta version of a card, right? But yeah, Takefaso Kubo, um, looking really nice, you know, Trivella Plus, technical, flair, first touch, if you're wor working with some sort of like Japanese team or Real Sociedad players, because to be fair, I could see people choosing mostly other players, right? But again, a very solid option to work with too. Cole Palmer, I'm going to puke with this guy because this guy has so many different options. It's insane. Like he has so many different options. So many. Okay. So many different options. His evolutions list is endless because of the silver card, right? The silver card just gives you so many like crazy options. Hide expired. Yeah, this is not showing the Palmer one, but Palmer has a lot, dude. He has so many different ones. Um... But yeah, Palmer, obviously from the Inform version, you get Finisher. I think with him, we could potentially search it on foot.gg. Let's see. Let's take a look here. So if I go to Palmer and I go to his evolutions, this is the stuff here, right? So look, look, all right, look. Finisher one or two, 87 rated. Look, look at the stuff you used for this card, bro. To really make him like, you know, really pop, basically. All of them, too. Look up Bar Budding Starlet 2, Budding Starlet 1, Finisher 1 or 2. Like, uh, look at all the different options you have with this guy. Look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. Insane, man. That's going to be a pretty saucy option to work with, too, for sure. For people that were going in the Chelsea route, obviously, right? But looking really nice. Raheem Sterling from the Inform version also gets a new card as well turns into a four star four star player to be fair with the new fire and the new ice cards uh those are cards that give you a five star weak foot or five star skills uh, the only thing with sterling that i mentioned in the reviews as well is that his dribbling is a little bit weird when it comes to the left stick so it could be a situation where you want to give him a marksman maybe you know but generally speaking with sterling in game um i think most people would just give him like a hunter chemistry style but this looks like a cool card too because there's the added variable of him being different compared to the spcs because he has trivella plus to work with right play styles wise rapid quick step but they have the different variables in this card where it's like this card has five star skills maybe he gets an evolution in the future right so it's always stuff that you have to look into of course right uh bukayo saka gets a pretty significant improvement from the rare gold would I do it on Bukayo Saka myself? No, I'd probably do it on somebody else unless you could see him getting some pretty saucy improvements in the future, right? So that's always the thing that you got to look into as well. Alejandro Garnacho. So this is a guy that we got to check out as well on foot.gg because this guy has so many different evolution cards that people have already done at this point. So he probably has some pretty significant improvements too, right? So, um, Right off the bat here, we have Welcome to Evolutions, Relentless Winger, Midfield Dynasty, Finisher 1 or 2, puts him in a really solid position, right? So, you know, stuff like this, you always got to look into. For people that have been consistently upgrading a card like Renacho, um, you're going to have some really, really interesting stuff to choose from, especially if you went in the routes of, you know, like this one, where it's 150k from the non-rare version and you get like a really nice Garnacho card who now has like a three star, five star on this one. Um, you know, there's going to be like different options for sure. Now, obviously, would it be nice to give him like a nice little uh, skill move improvement? Absolutely. But ED, what it eat, right? Uh, let's see what else we got here. This list is never ending. It's going to be all the way town, town, my boy. All right. What else we got here? Let's see. So Garnacho, we have Imbumo who is a very solid winger IRL, you know, very, very solid winger. Look at the significant improvements this card has received, right? So it's a left-footed player. So first of all, W there, right? Left-footed player with five-star skill moves, dribbling put into a fantastic area. So with this card, it's interesting because you put him into Centurion Striker initially, right? This is a four-star, two-star player by default. So Centurion Striker, very helpful for some improvements in the main areas. But then you put him into FC Founders too, Stop right there too. Finisher afterwards. And, you know, if you're a Brentford fan, basically like a W right away. But even if you're a meta person in general, 
he's looking good. You know, Trivella, quick step, rapid, Tiki Taka, press proven first touch, right? That's why if you went in the sentimental route, you get rewarded. You get some really, really solid options to work with. Um, you know, obviously in his case, you could probably either go in the direction of giving him a Hawk chemistry style or a Hunter, depending on what you want the most, but obviously looking very nice too. Uh, again, guys, be sure to check out like websites like foot.gg because they show you like all of the different options. Uh, if you guys have been improving some of these cards over the course of time, right? Um, we have Olise who gets a card as well. So this is from the inform version. Uh, so again, guys, always be mindful of some future improvements because the inform version had a two star weak foot. This version now has a three star weak foot. So obviously, if you're a fan of Newcastle, you have a first owner Olis card. Um, you obviously get some really significant improvements as well. Hunter chemistry style on this bad boy, or even a Hawk, honestly, like one or the other. Really good play styles to work with. You have a very solid Crystal Palace player, right? Some very, very nice stuff to work with there too. All of these cards are nice to work with. I think the only one that I probably wouldn't do so far from the selections that I've seen, like I, I, I just wouldn't do at all, unless he gets like a future improvement, is probably the Sokka card, right? But Trivella Plus is obviously uh, a nice improvement for sure uh we got some female players that play for real madrid so if you got this version of the card just the hero version you have someone that plays for real madrid that's looking pretty saucy too right so five star weak foot four star skill moves you know what i'm curious about because i have this card on my team the feller card this one so what does she have nowadays fc founders upgrade no i use something else for her let me check the feller card <clears throat> let's see here so feller this is the one right here and then we go to evolutions i forget which one i did specifically for her i don't remember it might have been relentless winger <laughs> relentless winger gets nothing i have to wait even i have to wait even longer for that one though huh what about these ones three star five star this one turns her into a four star four star which is nice fc founders two Four star, four star, four star, four star. That's pretty nice as well. FC Founders initially, FC Founders 2, FC Founders upgrade. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Because I have her on the RT RTG account, and she's just kind of like chilling in the squad right now, you know? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this card looks nice. You know, play styles looking really solid as well. Technical, the female players, again, by default, their dribbling is insane. She has lower dribbling, which makes it interesting to try out because technically speaking, you could give her an engine because the pace actually is put into a pretty decent area too. Lower shot power to work with Trivella Plus, right? So not too shabby, not too shabby. Fran Torres gets a new card as well. So for those of you that chose to do an FC Founder 2 into an FC Founder upgrade into a finisher, you get a five-star, five-star version of Ferran Torres. I think the only thing that'd be weird on this card is maybe the way that he dribbles because of his base card stats from what I'm seeing with the lean body type. But, I mean, it still looks like a very solid option, right? If you were to go with this card from the FC Founder 2 into FC Founder Upgrade, it's looking nice as well, right? 5-star, five 5-star five is obviously a huge variable to work with for some people that might want the significant improvement in multiple areas of the card while also working with Trivella Plus, Technical, Power Shot 2. So, yeah, definitely looking really nice too. All of these cards are. Like, there's not really going to be many that's aren't uh even nice just to look at honestly like they're looking really really nice huang he chen so this card is it from those other improvements so midfield dynasty the best the best one is this one is the 89 finisher so welcome to evolutions i mean huang he chen four star five star dribbling is in a weird situation weird situation but looks nice you know five star weak foot high medium work rates if you're a south korean fan and you want to get some pretty significant improvements. Definitely looking nice as well there uh, for Huang He Chan. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks very solid. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have Ferran Torres, Awea. So Awea is from the... Yeah, so Awea is from the Radioactive. Look at this, dude. Right? So from Radioactive, you can upgrade it to this. This is mainly if you are a Juventus fan, for sure. 100% if you're a Juventus fan. But this guy is actually pretty decent. Like, I I've come across people that use him in a, uh, a three-back formation, right? So they play him as, like, the right mid, basically, um, which is fine because, you know, obviously, if you give him, like, a shadow chemistry style or something, you increase the defending, you increase the pace, and you're working with a card that obviously has 
decent shooting to be used in those areas too. You can even give him like an anchor or something too, or a hawk, depending on the direction that you want to go, because he still has some defensive stats, right? So if you have him on comeback and defense, um, you know, he's still going to defend for you from time to time as well, right? So Juanma, uh, four star, five star player. Again, this is more if you went in the sentimental route, but if you went in the sentimental route, you have a pretty saucy player to work with here, right? On a hawk chemistry style, basically maximize paste shooting is essentially maximized physical stats is great in the jumping and stamina department and he's a five star weak foot player who is five foot six so he's shorter right shorter player to work with or some pretty significant improvements if you went down that route as well so yeah no there's there's a lot of stuff here look psg player as well from a non-rare barcola or barcola barcola card relentless swinger part two fc founder two fc founders upgrade finisher puts him at a four star four star for a psg link which obviously you can't go wrong with as well like this card you can actually go ahead and give him the engine too to put his dribbling in the 90s area and he's a high medium worker player six foot one pace is put into a decent area 94 finishing is still a decent cutoff to work with too but remember trivella plus right so with the four star four star capabilities you know it's a card that is right footed you'd probably start him off in certain positions like right wing right mid right side or a striker but you want to keep him on the right side just for that uh trivella plus so again if you went down this direction um you know good for you as well richarlison's an interesting one because giyu actually did richarlison in the beginning of the year so he can actually go down this route if he wants to from founders evolution into centurion striker into finisher and he gets some pretty significant improvements is this more for sentimental value absolutely richarlison is not really the type of player that people go for right off the bat because you know his dribbling is obviously a little bit weird to work with considering he's six foot tall the 73 for bounce but listen you use him in the way of using a physical type attacker right if you enjoy using those types of players for me personally i don't uh but for some people they do and they can cook with these guys right so it just depends on the person obviously right talishka again you know an option to work with because he's an absolute monster so this is what i mentioned in the um in the rtg video so i didn't end up keeping otavio's card okay but in the rtg uh, rtg video and the reason why i didn't keep him was because for me i wasn't consistently grinding the rtg account for me to care to keep him but in the video of the rtg i told you guys that even if this card doesn't get improved you may still want to keep him just in case he does get the improvement so now with the evolution because this is the thing i mentioned during that time period as well he's looking pretty nice right it's a card that has some defensive stats so technically speaking if you wanted to use him as like a right mid in a three back formation i mean you could totally do that but honestly in the center mid area he actually performs pretty nicely as long as you use him as the attacking oriented center mid right you could give him a hunter chemistry style um you know the hunter chemistry style would increase where is it? The Hunter Chemistry style is going to increase the shooting, the pace of the card uh, pretty drastically to be used specifically in those sort of areas. Because with this card, Otavio, you know, he obviously has the average body type. But I'm telling you guys, like I use the showdown version in some of the highlights for the RTG. And as the attacking oriented center mid, he was actually able to do some work for me sometimes. Right. So um, might not be a bad option to go with. Obviously, in my case, if I was doing the RTG stuff more consistently, then he would have been a cool card to keep. But sometimes I just don't have the time. And he's a fodder card that I use towards SBCs because it always depends on whether or not I'm going to use the cards in the future. Right. But um, El Shirawe, right. Another card. Um, if you are a huge fan of El Shirawe and you did all of the improvements that make him nice, you now have a very nice version of El Shirawe, right? Like on this card, if you give him a Hawk chemistry style, you improve the shooting drastically. The pace is in a fantastic area. The physical is in a decent area because he's got 73 for stamina, which could be on the lower side for some people. But, you know, shooting is massively increased. He's got really good play styles to work with when it comes to shooting stuff. Trivella, regular finesse shot, rapid flare, relentless, like... There's a lot of nice stuff there for a card that you're mainly going to be using in the side position anyway. So, you know, you give him that Hawk, you give him that Hunter, depending on what you want to do with the finishing department, right? You go from there and it's where and you're working with a decent card. It's not a bad idea to have higher jumping for these types of cards, because if you have players like Kai Havertz, who has the whipped pass, having higher jumping, even though your heading accuracy is lower, is ideal because you can maybe win some of those engagements and score opportunities that way. Right. So always look into stuff like that. Guys, with this evolution, we can genuinely be here all day. Like, this is probably going to be the longest 
evolution video we've done yet because there are so many different options you can go with again if you went in the route of sentimental value there's a lot of cards that you can have now right um Kulisevsky, obviously for the spurs fans you know if you did a showdown look at this right this is a, this is a very good example if you're a sentimental guy and you got these cards and you're building some sort of like spurs team or whatever it is right look at this card Kulisevsky showdown did not get upgraded right you put them into finisher you get the upgrade it's 100k but for people that are building those sort of teams it's a w right it even gets the playstyle plus too and it makes the cards way more usable to work with too you know hakeem ziesh this card who would have thought that this card right here would have been someone that people cared about right probably was super super cheap on the market at some point this evolution came out finisher is a vibe right he's a five star four star player for people that are building like turkish league teams if you give a card like this a hunter chemistry style you'll have a lot of fun with him he even has trivella plus two right hunter chemistry style would drastically increase the pace the shooting of the card passings in a decent area really crazy play styles he has passing ones trivella uh, trivella plus like you know bamba another option right so if you went with relentless winger midfield dynasty finisher you get a pretty saucy card too right there's obviously like the other version too which was the centurion sharpshooter which was a pretty decent option during that time period too for me the only thing that was mainly off of the card was the dribbling but during that time period you know he had some uh i think it was this card or was it somebody else i think it was him uh, his finesse shots were like really good like really good i was like i was like surprised at how good they were um but you know this bamba version exists now five star weak foot <laughs> i mean he's got uh he's got some pretty crazy stuff to work with still right even trivella because guys trivella is like you can you can make an argument and say trivella can be just as good as finesse shot in certain situations i'm not even joking okay norden um you know massive increase on this card if you went in the sentimental route four star five star player usable version of it. not usable oh, excuse me i can't use the word usable anymore because a lot of these cards are insane um ramazani you know if you're an elch guy elch no almeria not elch almeria on this guy look at the massive increase on this one man sentimental value fc going hard on that richardson gordon's card hey there you go right there you go there you go right so if you did this spc right here and you like the dynamic image newcastle fans completed this card there's your gordon card with an improvement and for me i would give him an engine chemistry style to make his dribbling as responsive as possible but if I'm a Newcastle fan, I'm buzzing with this. You know, nice little improvement on the card. It's a first owner card in your team. W dynamic image. From the SBC, you now get an improvement, right? Jilla Voji, uh, four star, five star lens player, if you went in that direction as well. Sane, I think this is Sane's cousin or brother, one or the other, right? If you're working with some sort of variable, we want to have the Sane brothers or cousins. I don't know what they are, I forgot what they were. Um, I think it's his brother. And then obviously you get some really nice improvements there. Pedro Neto, we've already looked into. Lucas Vasquez. We all know that Lucas Vasquez has had a few cards this year already. But if you're working with some Real Madrid links, there's a W card there as well. Shadow Chemistry Style. This card is looking very saucy as either a center mid or as a right mid in a three back formation, right? Especially with Trivella Plus on an 87 for shot power. Like, take a look at this guy. Whipped pass, block, rapid, press proven, first touch. You know what I'm saying? A lot of crazy stuff, man. A lot, a lot of crazy stuff. Um, Redmond. Like, dude, even Redmond. Like, uh, look, look at this, dude. Even Redmond, bro. Like, what are we talking about right now? Redmond. I'd probably give him a maestro, honestly. To increase that reaction on the card, you know? Boost the passing, boost the shooting. Like, look at this, dude. Five-star, five-star Redmond. Power Shooter, FC Founder 2, Midfield Dynasty, Finisher. Like, look at that. This is the craziest one yet. Elanga. Are you a three-star, five-star in Elanga? He's still a three-star a three star skill move player, but hey, five-star weak foot, though, man. This card will still cook for you, bro. 100%. Hawk Chemistry Style. Give him a little bit of physical. Give him a little bit of that shooting in that pace. Like, this card on the side positions is going to cook, bro. He will cook. You know, he don't have the skill moves, but he'll still cook. Maybe one day in the future, they give you the skill moves. Look at Diallo. Hey, shout out to anybody that did Diallo's card. Because look at the card you have now, man. As a Manchester United player. This, this is the type of players you had to improve. Because 
unless they do like a, a future stars promo, it's not going to get a card, you know, but five star weak foot left footed player. Again, for me, I'd probably give him a marksman so I can imp improve certain areas of the car. But, you know, if you went in this direction, look at the card you have now, right? Really nice stuff. Um, Lucia Garcia, female player, right? FC Founder 2, FC Founder Upgrade. Five star, five star. Like, look at this, dude. She's five foot five. So I'm curious to see how that agility and balance would be on her because for those cards, um, you would obviously have to look into it, right? Rigoni. This guy was hyped a lot before, right? Because of some of the uh, evolutions that people were giving him during that time period. But for an MLS player that's Argentinian, this is a really big link to work with when it comes to Lionel Messi specifically, right? Because again, on this card, I'd probably give him an engine as well. Because you guys know I'm a freak for dribbling, right? But the balance, I would want to improve. High, low work rates, base card size for shooting in a decent area. You know, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. He even has some defensive stats to work with there too. Uh, Chuck Weze gets a pretty significant improvement too. If you want to build some sort of like Nigerian team, but that's from the rare gold. So I don't see people doing that too often unless again, they're going for sentimental value. But yeah, guys, look, I mean... The options are endless, you know, a sporting, if you went in the sporting route, you get another, you get a, a nice little sporting player here too. You know, Marksman Kimmy Chazelle, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. It's looking great. If I were to go with like FC Porto, can I like do the filter here actually? New players? No. Let's do this actually. Let's, let's just check this out. If I were to go to foot.gg, I go to the evolutions here, finisher one or two illegible players or evolved players and then i were to go to let's go to fc porto let's just see what happens here right so i think it's liga portugal or how do I, how do they say a liga liga portugal right yeah liga portugal okay let's apply the filters on that right look at this sporting player bro i don't know if he's a lester a lester player right now or a sporting player i actually have no idea bruma look at bruma getting the significant improvement Look at this, dude. Oh my goodness. Marksman chemistry style. This guy looks like he'd cook, bro. See, we've reached the point where if you did sentimental from the beginning of the year and you went all the way up until now, now you got some meta players, bro. <laughs> now you have some meta players. Trincao. Trincao gets one too. Look at that. Dribbling at a 93. I can give this card a, a hunter now from budding starlet into finisher one or two. You know what's cool with these cards is that a lot of these cards, like, it, they, you, you can still get them now because people were obviously getting the game for Christmas, you know? But yeah, so many crazy stuff. So many. Guys, there's going to be cards that I don't even mention that are going to be worth looking into as well. Like, if I go down this list, there's still going to be cards that are nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, Solomon gets a significant improvement. Uh, Anthony... Anthony is from a rare gold, so I wouldn't look into that one too much unless he gets like some sort of promo card in the future. Look, this card right here, Pepe, right? So I'm pretty sure Nepenthes did this card. And Pepe is not a card that's like you should use, you know, in the beginning. Like he doesn't look that interesting, right? But now, now he has finisher and at least puts him at a four star, three star. Now we're looking at a card that looks a little bit more saucier to work with on a Trivella Plus. You know what I'm saying? So looking kind of saucy there too. But there's a lot, a lot of options, guys. A lot of options. Raheem Diaz, which one is this one from? Does this one have one, imagine? <laughs> if he did, bro, if he did. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's, it's, excuse me, I need to use different words. It's not pretty much it. Those keywords, I'm not gonna use those keywords. Not pretty much it, because there's a bunch of options to work with. I've actually seen some threads from people that they made to kind of say like which cards look like the better options like even easy spc right they they have a, a couple of different stuff too so you know cards like this that have stop right there fc founder 2 garcia philippe anderson malin bolados right if i go down and i go into some other options here and this is this depends on you and in, in regards to what you went with right so if you went to the japanese route fc founders 2 fc founders upgrade stop right there too finisher um female player that, you know, has received some pretty significant improvements while being a five-star, five-star player as well. You know what I'm kind of curious about? Um, what is... Is his name Jed? I think it's Jed, right? It's the one that um, Manny does as a series. Like, this is a W for him if he gets the massive improvement. Like, what's this guy's name? I need to see. 
This is the one. It's Jed with one uh one D, one D. Let's see here. Um Keeping balance, keeping balance, keeping balance, budding starlet. Ah, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. I mean, it would have been cool, you know, to get a really meta version of him for sure. That definitely would have been really nice. But hey, at some point he will, you know, at some point he will. But yeah, guys, we'll leave the video there because the video will be extra long. But guys, look into all the options. If you went to the sentimental route, good for you. You're going to have a lot of different options to work with. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.